Hello everyone, my name is Jeffrey and today I will be explaining how to ingest data to Elasticsearch using Kafka. This tutorial is based on the article how to ingest data to Elasticsearch through Kafka. But what is Kafka? Very simply, Kafka is a platform that allows us to publish, subscribe to and process data stream in real time. Let's start with the tutorial. For this video, you will need Docker, Docker Compose and Python 3 installed on your device. Docker is a tool that allows packaging applications and executing them in a selected environment, while Docker Compose simplifies the container definition, allowing multi-containerization in a single file. To illustrate this tutorial, we will follow the step-by-step -step the diagram displayed on the screen. We will be moving to each section as that section is executed. The first step is to create a Docker Compose file and paste the article code under the title Infrastructure Configuration with Docker Compose. This creates four containers. So Keeper container will save and centralize the state of topic nodes and Kafka messages. The image setting indicates what image will be downloaded for this container. And as an environment variable, it sets the port where the zookeeper will be running. Kafka container receives and stores data from producers and lets consumers read that data. In our case, it sends the data to Elasticsearch. Depend on makes the Kafka container be deployed after the zookeeper container is deployed. In the environment variables, I will explain the most relevant ones. Kafka broker ID is to identify the Kafka broker. Kafka zookeeper connect establishes where Kafka must connect to zookeeper. Kafka offset topic replication factor indicates how many copies must exist of the internal topic. In this case, the topic is logs, where Kafka saves the offsets. Elasticsearch will store the data and Kiban let us visualize the data stored in Elasticsearch. Here we are setting the volume to Elasticsearch for data persistent even if the container is stopped. And in Kibana we are connected to the Elasticsearch cluster. Execute the command docker compose app in the directory of the file and wait for the download and mounting of the containers to finish. If everything goes well, now we need to create a file that will contain the code corresponding to the producer. This code is also accessible from the article or from the GitHub repository shared in the article. Paste the code in the file. This code will simulate a producer, generating random logs and storing it into Kafka. We have here the Kafka producer initialization. The generate logs message function creates random logs, while the send log batches function sends the generated logs to Kafka. Create another file named consumer and repeat the previous step, pasting the corresponding code for the consumer. This script extracts data from Kafka and indexes it into Elasticsearch using the Bulk API. Here, we initialize both the Elasticsearch and Kafka consumer clients. The createBull action function formats the data to be indexed using the Bulk API. The message variable stores the message from Kafka before they are indexed into Elasticsearch. Now it's time to execute the scripts. For that, we will use a Python environment named bmp. You can create one by executing the command python mbmp and the name of the virtual environment. Typically it's named bm, but you can use any other. Access the environment with the command source bmp being activate. These scripts are using Elasticsearch and Kafka dependencies. We need to install it into the virtual environment. And with that, we can start running the Python scripts. First, execute the producer script. Executing this script, we are moving the logs to the Kafka instance with topic logs. Finish it, let's execute the consumer script. The consumer extracts the data from Kafka and set it to be stored in Elasticsearch. And we have it. The information is indexed in Elasticsearch. We can confirm that the information is in the cluster by navigating in the browser to the port in localhost where our Kibana instance is running and going to DevTools. Here, execute a module query to index logs. And as you can see, we have the logs in Elasticsearch. Another way to index the data in Elasticsearch is using the Kafka Connect connector. This will replace the consumer step. Kafka Connect is a no-code service that helps connect Kafka with other data sources and destinations. Connect bootstrap servers 
is used to specify where the Kafka server is running. Connect rest port is the port where Kafka Connect will be accessible. Connect plugin path is where the Elasticsearch connector will be installed in the next step. With that, it's time to rebuild the Docker Compose setup by stopping the current run and executing the command docker compose app build. Copy the command to install the connector for the Elasticsearch from the article and paste it into a new terminal. Here, the most relevant configurations are Topics. This is the Kafka topic the connector will monitor. Connector URL. This is the URL where Elasticsearch is running. Value converter. Use it to convert Kafka messages into a JSON format. Before running, we need to replace the URL variable with the URL where Kafka Connect is running. In this example, localhost on port 8083. With this, Kafka Connect will now be listening to Kafka topic logs and storing the message automatically in Elasticsearch. With the logs, Kibana lets us create charts and visualization in a very easy way. You can create them by going to Analytics, Dashboard, Create Visualizations. Now we are in Lens, and here, just by dragging and dropping the fields, you can create charts that make it easier to be and analyze the data. Kafka and Elastics are together, turn logs into insights fast, searchable, and ready to visualize in just a few steps, being a powerful combination. Thank you so much for watching, and don't stop learning. Goodbye.